Okay, here we are. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Be okay with the sound? Not too loud. Click to advance. Oh, colorblind friendly text. Oh, we're turning that on. Already my favorite game. Let's go. Um, yeah, we'll leave click to advance off, but that's good to know for the speed run. Let's uh let's get started, shall we? Let's do it. Yeah, I agree, goat brush. They've, it's just, you know, like, Dave Gilbert just just kind of knows, do you know what I mean? There's there's some sort of kind of common thread through a lot of these games. Whoa! Oh, cool hold screen already. This is amazing. Let's do it. We're just in it. Right out of the gate. We got some coughing. I'm not talking about the Pokemon. This is running out of piping hot 40 FPS. We came from this side, nowhere we can go. Look at this animation is excellent. It's very satisfying walking. Definitely an AGS game. You can see because if you click, every time you click, it restarts the animation um, of walking. Can't go back any further. Interesting. But you can see kind of like it like stutters. Animation begins over again. Even the cursor has a little bit of um, a shadow behind it, which I really like. It doesn't look like I can do much here. Ah, Miss Bateman. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? Sounds like it might. You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Spooky. Okay. Oh. Cool animations, cool music. I love this, like, hard cut all over the place. Like, uh, that dearest mother. Good choice. Go on. I don't know if I'm supposed to click here. Hang on. I hope this letter will reach you. Yeah, it is me. Okay. I was gonna have a little sippy sip, but we're we're we're, we're driving now. I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. Let the jams play out here. Avorius, thank you very much. 20 months just of support. Just in time for the barrow. Yeah, just in time. We just kicked off. Oh, thank you very much, Avorius, uh, for the resub. That's uh, incredibly appreciated and very kind of you. And welcome back, Santa. I don't know if you've been uh, around. Yeah, this is cool so far. I, I love the way it looks and the way it sounds. It's really neat. I'm like, I'm, I'm totally buying into it. Really, really neat. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. Oh, it looks so good. I will endeavor to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, 
This whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. What a name. Perhaps related to Mr. Head and Shoulder. I don't know. The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. Bewley. Already so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. It's actually kind of funny in hindsight to hear uh, <laughs> the sub music come in. Station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. Oh, here we go. Tell me how to play. Left click to walk and interact. Right click to examine. Okay, pretty standard. Uh, to access the inventory menu, move your mouse. Move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Okay, yep, sure. Left click an inventory item to select it. Right to examine. Uh, once an inventory item is selected, you can right click it to deselect it like that. Good. Not enough games have that. Like being able to drop the kind of like the thing you're clicking on. That's good. Um, you can double click on an exit to teleport directly to it. Very nice. Looking out for us. Game will occasionally autosave. You can also save anytime via the menu. Um, all right. So escape is the menu F5 and F7 for quick save, quick load. Okay. I think that's standard for, um, for AGS stuff from what I recall. Map when available. Space bar will show hotspots. Okay, great. Yeah, this is great. I like all this so far. Understood. And we've saved. Uh, this rain effect is awesome. Ah, people making games in AGS, like, continue to just, like, in, I don't know. I'm always blown away by, the like, the way art has been handled over the years. I remember, like, watching... The, the one big jump I remember is playing um, like Ben Jordan, like playing through the Ben Jordan series. And obviously that's a great example of like watching, you know, Grandislav like get better and better. But also like the difference in like just like if you look at the early games, even the, the like the remakes of the first two cases of that, like I remember playing and doing that final jump into case eight, like the last game. And that has that amazing opening sequence of that and being like there's rain effects in that. And I'm being like, this is crazy that this is all done on AGS. It's nuts. And then you see this. Look at this. It's amazing. I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. Just gushing about it. All right. So what do we have here? Back to the game. Um, we have the Bewley sign. I think that's right. Bewley, right? Uh, window. The door. We go inside uh, that. Oh. All right. So we do need to check the letter. She called that out earlier on. Got a hanky here. Hopefully we don't run into LeChuck. We do have our double eagles here, though. We got a bit of money. Uh, we have a to-do list. Is that what this is? Meet Mr. Shoulder to discuss Hobbs Barrow. I've been invited to Bewley by a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Uh, he proposes an excavation of Hobbs Barrow, the title. Uh, a local burial mound. Um, okay, so yeah, obviously we know we need to do that. Tom's, Tom's, Ma oh, Masnia? How do we say this? I don't even know. The current objectives are, are displayed on the left side of the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, this all makes sense. This is a great little interface here. Um, anything else that we've got? The tracks? Nothing else. Even the exit. Okay, so we can exit through this area here. Um, is there any sort of scrolly? I will say this about Broken Sword, the little finger going like this, I I thought that was a nice addition just to know if the screen is a little bit bigger than you think it is, because that, that'll get you. That really will. I have great expectations for this, Barrow. Okay. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? I guess we are in a time period where that makes sense. Let's check the window. The post looks unattended. Go Hello away. there. Hello there. Okay. Hello. A door of fine construction. Love a good door. Hello. Love a good door. Okay. It doesn't seem like we've got much to do here at the moment. Let's check the letter. Okay. I have to read this one. Dear Miss Bateman. I've been doing that voice the whole time, unless you want me to. 
I write this letter in the hope of piquing your curiosity. I read about your expertise in barrows, and if I understand correctly, you are writing a book on them, and the treasure, uh, the treasures they contain. I live in the village of Bewley, where a most special barrow can be found on the outskirts. It is, a rect is rectangular in form, and certainly tall enough to stand up in. The place is steeped in local legend, and there is a rumor of secrets to be found deep within. Okay, we've got a, a mystery afoot here. Hope you will not misunderstand me. Find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bewley and excavate the barrow, we're pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the plu plu plow plow and furrow in probably plow. All right, I'm playing too much, too much uh, adventure at this point. Um, I shall await your letter. Yours respectfully, Mister Leonard Shoulder. Who are you? Somebody catching the train. I was like, whoa. It, it already feels very uneasy. Uh, dear Miss Bateman, marvelous news. I shall meet you eight o'clock or at eight o'clock in the evening on the 14th of this new month at the Plow and Furrow Inn, Bewley. Uh, the inn has fine rooms, which you will find adequate for your short stay. Uh, when we meet, I shall tell you more of the circumstances surrounding the site, which is referred to locally as Hop's Barrow. Is uh, not located on my own land, but we will have no issue gaining permission to excavate. I wish you a safe journey. I must make my way to the Plow and Furrow Inn. You talk to the woman. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. I'm looking for the Plow and Furrow Inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady, leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the market square. The inn is to the side at square. Thank you very much. <sighs> good, good accent use here. Um, is the sound okay? It seems quiet when I'm looking at the uh, when I'm looking at the levels, but if it's okay, let me know. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. Yeah, she wasn't. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me. I might. I might turn up the uh, audio just a smidge. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the levels. It seems like we can get a little bit, a little bit more. Just a little bit. Let's crank it up, soldier boy, just a smidge. That'll do. Uh, uh resume. I'm gonna turn it down in my headset because it is quite loud now. But I swear, I have not. Okay. Already Hello? a little creepy. Hello. I guess we'll dip. Uh, what brings you to Bewley? I beg your pardon? What brings you to view limits? <laughs> yeah, asking this kind of question, making this fork this early in the game worries me a bit. Um I'm gonna I'm, we're just gonna come clean. We're here to look at some, some I'm some, here to visit a local yeah. landmark. Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow? Well, I can't say I've heard of it. For what reason? I wish to excavate it. Grave robber, are you? Not at all. I merely have an interest in antiquities. It belongs in a museum. Not much to be found in Bewley, if you ask me. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Dips out. That was odd. Love it. Okay. Hello there. The, uh, the scene has been set, certainly, huh? Let's go. As you do, just walk to the next, uh... Next room and, and creepy everything begins to happen. I don't see anything here other than the exit, so I guess we'll just continue onwards. This game looks so good. This is totally Yorkshire. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, uh, 
that's uh, that's always good. So what do we have? We have an exit back here. We do have some uh, houses and things. The path disappears over a small rise. A humble dwelling. Humble dwelling. A humble dwelling. A less humble dwelling. The path leads further into the village. So we do need to go the into the village. Told me to go straight ahead to get to the inn. I'll have time to explore tomorrow. Okay. The old woman told I'll have time. Okay, so that's what we're gonna get out of this. Yeah, for now, I like I like making sure we're covering our bases. Um, all right, horseshoe, an anvil. Ooh, broom. Lots of good inventory items here. Bucket, all the classics. Okay, there's another exit this way. Okay. This appears to be the forge of a local blacksmith. A finely made horseshoe. The blacksmith must also be a farrier. A simple broom. The anvil looks heavy. Okay. The horseshoe is nailed firmly to the wall. I didn't come to Bewley to sweep their streets. You never know when you're going to need a broom, Beating I'll tell you what. Beating metal into a fine object is an admirable skill. If you only knew you were in an adventure game, you'd want everything. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. Perhaps this belongs to a merchant. The bucket is... Bucket's seen better days. The anvil, the... This appears to... The blacksmith looks cl... Okay, a there. fine example of a church. It looks like it was built in the Norman style. Okay. I think that's the way we gotta go. I don't see another exit. It looks like I'm in the market square. I should find the inn. It oh. looks like I'm in the market square. I should find the inn. Okay, maybe we can scroll? Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh, look at the way the background moves. I love that. Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and care. The cross denotes this as the site of a market. Or perhaps a site of traditional religious significance. I'm sure that won't come into play later on the way that this is all going, huh? A local dwelling. I don't wish to disturb the locals. The sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. Okay, shouts out to the cobblers, the cobblers out there. Is closed. This is this. The building is in a dilapidated state. I was say, what the, what's the story with this place, huh? The door has been boarded up. The building looks like a ruin. Dog. Okay. Uh, we got another exit this way. Down that way. More houses. Okay. But this. Quite a fine building indeed. The Plow and Furrow Inn. The inn where I am to meet Mr. Shoulder. Plow and furrow. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. Okay. Um, yeah, we Don't can't wish go to here, disturb yeah. the locals. Got a man here. Just have a look around the building, shall we? Just to make sure we know what's what's what. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. The window box is well out of reach. These flowers look pretty. The window box is well out of reach. Okay. Oh, we got an alley. Ooh. I should go inside the inn. You should, a but... A thin path curves towards some more buildings. Okay. A small alley splits the inn and its neighbor. I should go inside the inn. Okay. <laughs> well, it's good to have you here. The man looks thoroughly inebriated. Oh. Let's have a chat with this guy, huh? He's in the way, I suppose. What's a young lady doing out alone in this sodden weather? Get out of the way, sir. You're drunk. I was just saying, I'm going in. I'm heading to the plow and furrow. Bloody good pub, that. It has the finest ales in the whole county. Oh, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Give us a kiss now, won't you? <laughs> he 
<laughs> yes. I remember seeing this in the, the trailer. That little punch in there. <laughs> I feel like we should not do that. Wouldn't your wife disapprove? My wife? Bloody hell, my wife. My tea will be on the table at this hour. And if I don't get back, she'll be roaring. Until we meet again. What an amazing bunch of buffoon. Oh, this game is really cool. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. Good call. All it's right. a crudely painted scene that appears to be of a biblical nature. I don't want to take the painting with me. Okay. Suit yourself. Okay, so the exit. Cold draft is leaking through the door. It sounds like England. Uh, all right. What do we have? We got a man. We got a man. Two more paintings. Some plates. The innkeeper and you guessed it, another man. A fine exemplar of inebriation. The innkeeper is a serious-looking man. The taps we can't do. This door must lead to the guest rooms. Hey, Lemming. Yeah, I've heard some good stuff. So far, it's been very cool. Very, very cool. A rather miserable looking fellow. He's playing a board game by himself. I think it's Three Men's Morris. Hmm, okay. They are engaged in an intense discussion. It's my scroll, I guess. They are engaged in an intense discussion. The okay. crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. A pixie-faced peasant boy, painted in a naive style. The painting depicts a rocky-edged lake. A small bronze plate states the name Lake Cubilius. Cubilius. A colorful work depicting a bashful knight. It is signed N. Hamley. N. Hamley. This painting shows a Rubenesque figure brushing her hair. Quite unusual to see such a sensual work in a room like this. Um, anything else? <laughs> anything else? A biblical scene of some kind. An angel is depicted looking longingly to the heavens. This is the, uh, the restroom. A dreadful smell is emanating from the WC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll have a, we'll have a, we'll have a check in there when we, uh, we're up to it. All right, let's work left to right here. This guy's just... Oh, oh, he's awake. I was like, he might be... Might have... Might have perished at some point. Good afternoon, sir. No for you here. I beg your pardon? I said there's no for you here, lass. Be on your way. Charming. Everybody's like on the verge of death and talking to them. It's great. Hello, sir. We are in the middle of a discussion here. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. Let's do it again. Hello, miss. Let's try Thank you. you. I bugger off. Lovely. A lovely place to warm oneself. Okay. Seems like a nice uh, group of people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? Uh, I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, it is not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Oh? Oh, you need me to... Okay. This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. Thomasina. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Beely tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. <laughs> Kenneth taking Just strays here. Just go the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I feel like we should ask about Good afternoon. Mr. Shoulder Good afternoon, here. Good afternoon, Miss Bateman. How can I help you? Uh, 
Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. Bye for now. As you were. Okay, uh, do we want to take a look at the... Uh... I do not need to use the lavatory. <laughs> All right, fair enough. We had to try. Had to try. This shall do nicely. Okay, it's got Time all the all the fixings. Ah, <sighs> much better. Okay, cool. Saved up and good to go. I haven't played uh, Boulder's Gate three yet, uh, but that's very cool. I mean, it's it's been solid. It's been really good. So that's no surprise. Uh, all right, what do we have here? Bowl, jug of water. Sure, a lovely view. The wardrobe. The plates. Plates everywhere. Shouts out to the plates. Plate depicting a goat. I don't a wish to take out. it. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor. Perhaps a local landmark. Okay. Matchbox obviously piques my interest. <sighs> Complementary matches. Useful. Okay, cool. There's only one match left, though. Uh, we're going to have to use it wisely. Room key and matchbox. There match is a box. single match remaining inside. Room two, the plow and furrow in. Jammed shut. The wood must have walked over the years. A decrepit set of drawers. <laughs> Jeez, tell me As how you really feel. light source in the room, I ought to leave this here. My evening light shall be provided by this solitary candlestick. Mm. I do feel tired after the trip, but my meeting with Mr. Shoulder must take priority. We no must. doubt the mattress is stuffed with itchy straw. I've stored my case in there. A box. I've stored my case in there. A box within a box. A sturdy looking thing. Useful to many a weary traveller. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. Okay. The wardrobe looks old. Perhaps a hundred years or more in age. All right, old. An oldie but a goodie. Need some water here? A little jug? This may come in handy. We just... Okay, we'll stick that in our pocket as you do. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. As An empty do. bowl has been provided for washing. I often walk around with a pitcher of water on my person. <laughs> Surely you have your requisite wall plates. You know what? I may have missed the memo on the wall plates. Maybe this is a more of a northern thing. Uh, <laughs> that's a good a good point, though. I might have... Uh, maybe I need to up my, my plate game a little bit. Right, let's go do this thing, huh? Um... I don't know what the time is. I, I suppose. Should wait here for Mr. Shoulder. But we must. Um, I don't know. I guess we do. We get a beverage. Is that what we do here? Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate. Most adequate. Excellent. Okay, let's do it. Has Mr. Shoulder arrived yet? Still haven't seen head nor tail of him, Miss Bateman. What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with old Leonard then? Can he be trusted? Yeah, well, whatever. If dude. you must know, I'm an open book. I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with tumuli? Afraid not. <laughs> barrow is another word for tumulus or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. 
A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, why? You're a grave robber. <laughs> I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, aye. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley. A site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard now about a Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. That's, that's a peculiar uh, note that continues to go on. Don't have ball plates, but yeah, I guess, yeah, perhaps a sign of the times. <laughs> Fair enough. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St. Edmund's Church is a fine building, worth a visit. Of a good building. Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The moors stretch further than the eyes can see when you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a barrow digger too, were he? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh. I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Don't you have anything better to do with the time? She's like, I'm writing a book now. Like, <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Proud. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up me coin and bought this place. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Thanks for your time. As you were. Okay. Well, we got some good info there. We're gonna try the man again. Good day, sir. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You ought to be careful asking too many questions around here. Be on your way! Oh, I don't mean to... Listen to me, will you? Be on your way! <laughs> this guy's like, leave! This is a dump! Alright, get home safe, Avorius. Thank you for the good luck. Are they still chatting over Hello, here? Sir. Oh, we got a weird what? guy over here. I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Old man. Old prospector. A curmudgeonly looking old fellow. Who is this? Hello, sir. Hi. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You come on that bloody train, haven't you? Bewley's going to dogs. <laughs> Old man shakes fist at train. My name is Thomasina Bateman, and you are... None of your business, lass. Where's your husband? None of your business, sir. Ha! You're brave coming in here, all on your own. I'm a grown woman. I'm Cyril. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. Sure. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That'd be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city poking around asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. 
I guess that's fair. I take it you are not enamored with the railway station. You're always gonna be swarming with outsiders, like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lads. Why not? Sorry, I was just double checking. I this sent out the prediction. Our land. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? <laughs> I guess I'm starting to regret being like, I'm gonna dig up all your graves. Guy like this who, who's you know doesn't like trains, can't like the idea. Of this. What can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me. Aye. Bye for now. Ta-da, lass. <laughs> Mr. Shoulder should really be here by now. I'll sit down and wait. Can't keep talking to this old guy all day. <laughs> Where on earth is he? What a waste of time this is turning out to be. Ooh. Evening there, miss. Not you again. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I this got home, him, huh? had my tea, but it gave me an ache and belly. How so? I felt bad for how I spoke to you. I'm sorry. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Thomasina Bateman. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Oh, I know Mr. Shoulder all right. If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about <laughs> the old sod. <laughs> Yeah, do we want to enable this guy's obvious issues here? Or do we want to... Do we have... The thing is, we just have money. Which makes me think that money is not going to be like... There's not a limited amount of money we need to worry about. We just have money. Um... Uh, this guy, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, like entertaining this. I don't know if I necessarily want to give this guy a drink. Well, let's do it. One ale coming right up. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Then I'll tell you all about Old Leonard's shoulder. Hmm. <laughs> How can I help you? A tankard of your finest ale, Mr. Kemp. Yeah, that's true, Pazzy. You're right. This is an inquisitive visit. There we are. Two pence, please. Thank you. This was the last of my money. Oh, no, we Kenneth did have fine tomorrow money. with more funds. Okay. Well, okay. Well, uh, we'll remember that. Oh, okay. interesting. We had money. <laughs> I was like, we're, we're, we're rich. I was literally about to make a comment. She's like, oh yeah, my like father's in a private hospital being with the finest care. I was like, okay, we're loaded. We're just loaded. Just getting two P for an ale. Like we got all day, you know what I mean? But instead, uh, we probably should have given him our jug of water. But uh, here we are. A tankard of warm ale. I prefer a glass of Portuguese port wine myself. <laughs> Got largoed. That's exactly what happened there. <laughs> that's true. That's true, Pazzy. Yeah, so it's a defense, you know? We gotta take care. We know how to handle this guy. I don't know as much about this uh, shoulder fellow here. One money, please. Here you go. Here you are, Arthur. Thanking you. Let's take it easy here, pal. Oh, that hits the spot, that does, lass. 
Now then. Maybe I should have watered it down. Old Len. Leonard Shore. <laughs> Okay. Money well spent, it? obviously. Oh, for heaven's sake. The man is in a drunken stupor. All right, water, right? Let's use some water in here. Oops. Yeah, that helps if I click on Arthur here. Oh, what the hell was that for? You passed out, Mr. Tillett. Oh, sorry, lass. <laughs> this what a mess this guy was. Leonard's shoulder. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. This guy is this a piece is of work. Unbelievable. Yeah, I agree. We're gonna have to get him out of there, aren't we? <laughs> so this is just like another. This is a Friday night. It feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It's a traditional English puzzle here. Hey, Tyrion. <laughs> we all know it, Arthur. It's uh, it's true. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Okay. I'm not going to waste my time with him any further. I don't care for being yelled at. It's fair enough. He's like, I don't know. It's like, don't go in the bathroom. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. It's a mess in there. Miss Bateman. My apologies. The ladies are closed due to faulty plumbing. You'll have to use the gents. <laughs> Lovely. Mr. Oh, Tillett. Good. This is this is just not going to end well. It's not going to end well. I don't know why yet, but it's it's just bad. Anytime you're in a bathroom like this, it's just going to be bad here. All right, let's get it. Is empty. Okay, empty jug. The water looks highly questionable. I ought to keep my hands out of it. Okay. The mirror is coated in a thick layer of grime. Some Ooh. The mirror is coated. Some excavations are best left to others. Okay, good line. <laughs> I gotta be really careful with clicking. Sometimes, like, my finger slips and I end up missing a line of dialogue. I would rather not get any closer. The smell of urine is nauseating. I would rather not get it. Okay. These look modern. I'm surprised. These are the mirror. Anything else we're missing in your dirty towel? It looks like the towel has not been washed in months. That seems like a it good adventure like game. Towel is not... It looks like. Okay, maybe not. Okay, we've got two doors, three doors actually. Um, I'm a bit terrified to deal with this. Is Mr. Tillett in there. It sounds like someone is in there. Cold draft is leaking in from under the door. This leads outside. The sound of like the machine here is very unnerving. I can see it's still raining out there. I can't reach the window from down here. All right, door number one. Mr. Tillett. Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Okay, doesn't look like he was in there after all. That means door number two. Ooh, the corner spot, the corner office. Here we go. Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Mr. Tillett is a cat. Well, you're not Mr. Tillett. The mangy thing is fast asleep. I'd rather not touch it. The thing stinks to high heaven. <laughs> Okay, so it is door number three. The door opens a crack, but appears to be blocked from the other side. Okay. I think I can hear someone moving around. Mr. Tillett? Arthur, are you out there? Judging from the draft coming from below, this door must lead outside. I should investigate further. I can see it. I can't. Re the cold draft. The door is blocked from the. Okay, so we have to basically go out there and, and do the thing. Okay. Uh, let's go. 
go do it. Let's go look at some things here. Hello again, Cyril. Oh, I. Yeah, let's, yeah, I'm very curious about this Tillit guy. Have you seen Arthur Tillit? Aye, saw him go and use the privy a while back. He hasn't returned. That drunkard's probably been to a toilet bowl vomiting his guts out as we speak, lass. That's what I expected. Bye for now. ta -da, lass. Good, uh, good talk. A majestic animal cut down in his prime. I, I looked at this before, did I? The poor thing. Uh. I'm not going... I don't care for being... How can I help you? There's a door to the outside in the gents' lavatories. Why is it bolted? That door doesn't even have a lock. So you didn't lock the door? I don't know what you're talking about. It sounds like a fire hazard, and I don't know if there's... Uh, we, we live in a time period in this game where that matters, but that's, uh, that's going to be a problem. Have you seen Arthur Tillett? I thought he were with you. He went to the lavatory and has not returned. <laughs> that sounds like Arthur Tillett. Don't worry, lass. He'll be back. Thanks for your time. As you were. Okay, uh, I guess we'll press on here. Oh, look at the lighting. Very glowy and Excuse uh, me, sir. sketchy. Oh, somebody left. Oh. Sir? I feel like, oh, the light went off. Hang on. We got it. We got it. One one mystery at a time here. That guy is a sketch ball a little bit here. <laughs> He's off to find the sword master. Yes. <laughs> Sturdy looking barrels. No doubt used to store ale. I suspect the barrels are empty. Otherwise, the locals would be rolling them into their cellars. Okay. Uh, itching post. The post has been embellished with a fine bronze bust of a horse. I could tether a horse here if I had one. Ooh, keep that in mind. Should we I come across one? I could tether a horse here if I had one. Um, so I'm avoiding the obvious uh, interesting thing here, which is this piece of wood that was blocking the door, and there's a glove down here. But I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything of value. Yeah, I think that's all we got. A What's... single glove is lying in the mud. A pearly white gent's glove. It's certainly unlike anything Mr. Tillett was wearing. Maybe that other guy, huh? Ooh. Seems rather out of place here. Peculiar. Indeed. Acquired glove. A fine white glove, gent style. I found it in the alleyway behind the plow and furrow. You sure did. Okay. Let's get that wood. Hmm. Someone has wedged the door shut. Mr. Tillett. Why would he have done that? We get to hang on to the wood. Did Mr. Tillett leave, then block the door behind him? Something strange is going on here. Oh, that like warping thing is very I can't nice. Can't think of anything else to talk about right now. You're not gonna say that the the door was blocked. You're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about that. Can we talk. Okay, hang on. We haven't tried this glove on Stanley. Do you recognize this glove? I can't say I do. I don't wear them. They make me out sweat too much. Never mind. TMI. Do you know about this glove? Do you recognize this glove? Do I, heck? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> well said, well said. I'm not sure they would be interested. Okay. Uh, do you want to try the glove? I'm not sure they would be. I to ask. No. Off we go. being led this way, so I suppose we will continue down this uh, very odd path. We have a door. A local dwelling. The light turned off, uh, which is, you know, of a concern, a general concern here. What a, uh... The old man has disappeared into the darkness. I best turn back to the inn. Hopefully I didn't like, I was supposed to maybe chase him or something, but my, uh, my instincts got the best of me. I like wanted to go after him initially and then was like, well, I should probably, I should probably do the one thing that I need to do here. 
This place is a vibe, isn't it? Last orders. I should get some sleep. Finding the missing men of Bewley shall have to wait for tomorrow. Anybody else hiding back here? No, the guy is gone. Closing soon. And no, Mr. Shoulder. I should get some sleep and find him tomorrow. Okay. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Good evening, sir. You have to kind of give her credit to be like, we're really trying her Coffee. best to be like, hey. Pulling the bell would be quite unbecoming of me. The last orders bell. Savior of many a life. Really trying to make a conversation Kenneth will be happen, arriving yeah. tomorrow at midday. She gets some sleep. Yeah, that's why I clicked on the door. Oh, we can, hang on. We can do things? Uh, is there something we can do here? I don't want to take the... A pixie, f a lovely place. The inn is. I should get. This makes me think that there's something else here. The inn is close. I should get some. Oh no, maybe not. Kenneth will be. Yeah, yes, I guess we gotta I go. Must get some sleep. I know I what else to do here. Mr. Shoulder tomorrow. Miss right. Bateman? Yes? Off to bed? Yes. I'm afraid Mr. Shoulders let me down. The rotter. Perhaps he will make himself known tomorrow. I should hope so. This is turning into a waste of my time. Ah, don't mind the locals, miss. It's just that we don't get a lot of visitors in Bewley. Quite. They mean well, believe me. Sure, Mr. Kemp. Please, call me Stanley. Good night, Stanley. Sleep well, Miss Bateman. Okay. Day one in the bag. Oh, this is gonna be nice, isn't it? Seen this this story before. animation. Let's go. Amazing. Wow, this game is so cool. dreams bolted from the inside just as I left it last night hmm oh, indeed I noticed like the top as of that I door you must have dreamt of that wretched looking cat I must say I'm relieved Right then. Let's see if I can track down the elusive Leonard's shoulder. I'm rather anxious to get to this barrow. I also wonder what happened to Mr. Tillett. Yeah, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. I just noticed on the, the top of the door it was like chewed in. I don't know if anybody saw that. I don't know if that was just like the pixels doing pixel things or what, but it's kind of interesting. I wonder, it's very interesting that like they had the same kind of punch into that cat as they did with uh, Mr. Tillett there at the beginning uh, bit. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, cool. So this is uh, where I'm gonna put the pin in it for this one. Um, what a cool game. I cannot wait to play a little bit more of this very soon. That was super cool. Um, I think this is a good enough time to stop here. Uh, we'll just call this 
Uh, day one. Cat. Well, actually, yeah, we gotta give it a funny name. I guess it's just like a creepy cat. Um, it was also moving across the floor at quite a pace, which I enjoyed uh, thoroughly there. <laughs> cool game. Very cool game. I'm excited for more of that. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be it for me this evening. I hope you had a great time on the stream. It was nice having y'all here.